People sometimes ask me, how do I play from memory? How do I remember all of those notes? The simple answer is that you can only remember a piece by understanding it. If you understand why one phrase follows another, or why one section is preceded by another, then you've got a good chance of programming it into your memory. So all those lessons in music theory actually turn out to be quite useful. It's a bit like if you had to put a tent up from memory, you'd really need to understand the structure of the tent before you had a chance of putting it up and know why certain poles had to go in certain places. With playing from memory, the other crucial thing is to be able to play by ear. By that I mean to be able to hear a melody and play it back without actually seeing it written down. You can develop this skill just by playing little melodies to yourself on different notes of the scale. How about London Bridge, for example? So I began on G, this time on G sharp. on A. And I'm sure you get the picture. Once you've developed your playing by ear, you'll be able to play whole phrases by ear. And that means that you only really need to memorize the links between the phrases. So you need to understand where one phrase begins and why it links to the next phrase. Once you've memorized the links, the whole of the chain of the piece should be there in your head. Musicians find often that they have a very strong visual memory. Some of them can see the notes in their mind's eye on the page. Others have a very strong tactile memory. If they've practiced a piece a lot, the fingers just seem to fall into the right places when they come to play it back. It's very dangerous, though, to rely on these instinctual memories. Sometimes when you're performing, you get self-conscious. Maybe you're feeling uncomfortable because the hall's too hot or you recognise somebody sitting in the front row. In these situations, your automatic pilot can completely desert you and leave you in the lurch. So you must make sure that you've programmed a piece into your conscious memory as well. By that I mean specific instructions like now it's the main theme, it goes up to an F and it ends in the minor key. Things like that give you a road map to the piece, a conscious map that will come into play should your automatic pilot switch off and desert you. I'd really strongly advocate playing from memory if you can. The benefits are enormous in terms of communication. Sometimes students feel quite as if they've been thrown into the deep end of a swimming pool when I get them to play from memory. But once they get used to it, they realise that the music somehow does convey itself much better to the audience. Funnily enough, you'll find that things you find rather difficult to play suddenly become easier perhaps because you're not reading the music at the same time as having to play it. So do get to know your memory and learn how to use it. It's an amazing tool. I've calculated that I have about 18 hours of music in my memory and there's easily room for more. So make sure you memorize things just bit by bit. Then you should have no trouble taking the plunge and using your memory.